Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today we are going to experiment this type of a layering effect. So you can apply the same method for your jewelry cat design. Are you ready? Let's get started. So for this video, uh, it is a study form and this is now the ring is ready to go for 3D printing. For example, anything like this, you might want to create it inside of the ring and just fill it up those space. Otherwise, this is actually a weapon, not a jewelry. Okay, so let's go ahead to see how we gonna get this shape. I hope to inspire you to making architecture type of a jewelry all right so let's go ahead to hiding everybody and starting from the scratch i always like to have a ring size there and i wanted to make sure i draw a circle and that is a true ring size in this demonstration i'm going to use the diameter for 16 millimeter then you can kind of decide it uh what type of a shape that you want for your ring and um i basically gonna draw something like an organic right there it doesn't have to be like this uh, it's just the shape that that I just whatever I draw okay and the other side of the shape I do want them to go more like a mr. potato and so maybe it will go something like this and maybe maybe fatter all right I, I should stop tweaking because you're gonna Tweak forever. All right, so I want this to be inside of this, and let's go ahead to go transform, and you got oriented to point, and I wanted to make sure that I don't need a copy. The scale is a three D only option right here, and I want to snap in into the highest point and the lowest point, and coming back here, snapping into somewhere consider this point here and this point right there okay so then i have them touching each other right to creating the surface i can use the loft but i need to have an open curve there in this case to loft so we need to split this guy first like this one was split by this guy so they have become two and this guy was split by this guy so they are become my full open curve make them into the solid we are going to use the loft command we're gonna loft in the order of one two three and four and you get something like that then you are like oh, why this is open yeah it's because we need to close the loft all right, so you'll get something like that. Oftentimes, I like to record a history just in case I wanted to change. And what I mean is if I feel like, oh, I need to actually have this body bump up more, I can turn on this curve with the control point and I can keep editing like this. Okay, so then I will get something like this. Now, um, the other shape that you can do it um, you can create another shape, but I, for this demonstration, I'm just gonna rotate this guy to be something like this. All right, and then I will have another shape, and then I can make this smaller if I want to. Um, but for the demonstration, it's not about how pretty this piece is. It's actually about the technique. So I'm going to stop tweaking there. All right, so I got two shapes here, and one of them gonna turn into a red color, so it's easier for you to see. All right, so now I have this shape. How am I get them into the layering? Um, I'm going to come into the curve and curve from the object. There's a lot of things that you can get it from a surface, and I highly recommend you try all of this. This is really fun. Uh, so I want to use the contour. I'm going to ask you what is the contour direction. I'm going to click on the bottom holding my shift and click on anywhere on the top so it feel like nothing happened but you pretty much tell the rhino what's the direction you want them to have all right the between contour it's going to be one millimeter as soon as you click enter you're going to see those lines right there so those are the curve that we develop Okay, and now what we like to do is creating the thickness while we're selecting all of them, right? So let's go ahead to use the solid and we want to extrude it straight. 
we don't need both sides just one side is fine and i want to extrude it in the distance for 0.6 millimeter for example then we'll get something like this if i turn off the red surface then you will see they become layering like this okay so that's do the same thing over here for contour and we want to go again from the bottom up and we want a one millimeter and we want to coming over here so solid straight and going 0.6 millimeter right so now if i pick up all this curve and notice that i'm going to pick up all of this all right okay. so i'm going i should have a group them <laughs> And this is what happened. If you don't group them, you just need to pick one by one. So let's group them first. And I'm going to select the... I'm going to select all the curve first and just hide it. And I want to select everybody. And this surface that's hide it and I want to select everybody beside this group and I'll group with this guy as well so what I'd like to do and let me change the color for the red one the red one and the black one need to be 100% touching right so the distance in between is 0.4 now I simply just wanted to move it up and make sure that they are right in the center so then we have something to bullying it units together right so now this is the shape that we have notice that the one on the top it may not be touching so we may want to do a little bit adjustment right there um, need to ungroup this guy and we wanted to move them closer so so then they will have something to bowling union together and it might change into your shape but um otherwise you're going to lose that two piece on the top right so we're gonna moving this up and we're definitely gonna lose this piece so i'm just gonna delete that one all right let's go ahead to bowling union it so now they become a piece together and again for the casting structure you might need to have some posts in between so then they will stay better otherwise it will collapse easy right and let's go back with the ring uh let's go back with this ring here and we can go into extruded this one into the solid and all we need to do is a bowling difference this guy out of this guy right so then we'll have this shape there if we take a look on the render view now some of you may say well pj i really don't like the straight line can i do something more curved you could so let's move it something like this and i'm going to call back everybody here especially only the surface here and the surface there this is the only thing that we need and maybe the curve all right so i can deselect and maybe this guy and i can um invert it the selection and that's just hiding everybody else okay so this is what we have there so in in some way that you wanted to have a curve and you can do is you can creating whatever curve that you want and this guy whatever curve that go in between like this okay and maybe i want to make sure i cover the whole things all right so they are two whatever curve that you you like and we are going to use the twin curve and we want to twin in between here and here all right so let's say i wanted to have 10 of them so you're gonna see the curve like that and of course it's like kind of two cores so maybe we're gonna have 16 of them all right and then we're gonna click okay i'm going to have those to trim the area of this guy this guy this guy you kind of see what i was planning to do is to section them in this way okay so now the the red one is being sectioned as you can see now it's like this and i also wanted the 
to have those curve just go ahead to extrude it into the surface and have those extrusion kind of moving back all right so now we have those we kind of need to use and anything we don't need it's not touching we actually don't need it so we're gonna have this one to trim off this surface it, it's a little bit more work to do but um, it's actually worth it if you want this type of a foam and i'm gonna use that to trim off this one and this one and again going to fast forward from here we're gonna doing a bunch of a trimming So now you have done that, you can just go ahead to select everybody and then to join them. So then you will have that. And again, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. But again, you have to kind of planning ahead, like which one is touching which one. In this case, those two is going to flying somewhere else. So you might want to do the bar in between. And that's how you can do the other way if you do want it to have a curve instead to have this is a straight line going up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you probably will like my course that will help you to learn more specific for jewelry care design. Today is the last chance to sign up for my Black Friday emailing list. And on this email that I'm going to send out, we'll have a huge discount on my course. I only offer big sales once a year on Black Friday, so don't miss out. Join link is at the description below. Hope to see you in my list. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.